Hi there, Zizzy. Yay. Um, we're celebrating Halloween around here. Um, you know, a little spooky, a little macabre. Uh, we have a number of events and contests that are currently ongoing for you to participate for the season. Uh, we do have a great trick-or-treat event going on throughout Spelisaria. Uh, residents of that continent are encouraged to put out a pumpkin at their house. And all residents, not just ones in Belisaria, but everyone, can pick up a HUD at one of four locations. I'll give you the slurls for those. And participating in the uh, hunt, you can possibly get um, the Linden Bears that we have right up front. Uh, the four regions where you can pick up the HUD and also the pumpkin if you have a Linden home. Let's post those in here for you all. No Linden dollars, it's all free. Um, everyone who collects just one candy, just one of the pumpkins on any parcel, will get the Skelly Bear, which you can see up in front. Um, in front of me, certainly. Um, which is the bear down there with the skeleton head. Uh, Izzy's going to be right back. He had to relock. Um, Izzy. Yep. The top... 100 uh, people will get the magic bear, which you also see it out front. That's the one with the witch hat and the, the wand. Uh, there's also the um, top three, or excuse me, the top 100 get the devilish bear, the, the evil bear, which is the devil looking one. 30, the top 35 get magic, and the top 10 will get the deadly bear, which is the zombie one down front. Um, all the bears except for Skelly also have Animesh versions that you can carry around to be companions. I have the Animesh version of the uh, Deddy Bear down there, uh, ambling around. And if you want to know more about that, um, there is a video that you can watch with Punky and Magellan talking about the uh, the event right there. Just on that, um, I actually got to do a lot of the pumpkin uh, picking and whatnot, you know, the trick-or-treating for a lot of the demo stuff, and it was actually a lot of fun, but it is so easy to lose track of what you've picked and what you haven't, because it's not going to tell you anything other than you've already picked this one, so it was fun trying to track down the remaining ones. True. Oh, I still love it. Uh, it was one of my earliest kind of yeah, you know, an idea popped into my head when the London home community started sprouting around. This man, wouldn't this be awesome if we did trick or treating? I thought of that like in March, <laughs> and here it is, trick or treating. <laughs> Over there, we have Vanna White Linden, Wendy Linden, displaying the Linden Bears. Well, Malarthy, um, we do have some tricks. Um, the Halloween Haunted Neighborhood uh, is back to Belisaria in the Millbank region. Um, you can roam around the haunted homes there. You can also uh, find yourself a red balloon to uh, tour the homes automatically. Uh, we do not, however, guarantee your survival on that, but it is a lot of fun.
Sue, the other ones are going to are the uh, prizes for the trick or treat event. That's why they're not available here, but uh, it's a preview. But you'll be able to see them next time and win them in the hunt. Did we cover the shop and hop yet? I I believe you were just about to cover the shop and hop. All right. Well, the shop and hop is open. Uh, it's been open since the 21st, and there's over 280 merchants, many of which have free gifts at their booths. And here is a link to the guide that we put together. So definitely check that out. A lot of merchants go through, so um, be sure to start early so you can uh, visit each one. A lot of awesome stuff. When I have time, I'm going to visit as soon as I can. Yes, and most likely, Dor. Oh, and that reminds me, Vix, there's one more event that we have going on right now, which is a Halloween costume contest. Awesome. Um, you can uh, dress up and share photos with us uh, for a chance for 25,000 Lindens. So big prize for that one. Uh, but don't delay because the deadline is tomorrow. Uh, and you can find more information about that, all the details uh, at that slur or that Earl, excuse me, um, what to dress up, where to share your pictures, that kind of thing. But nobody can beat my pirate kitty. Did I say that out loud? We don't want to beat it because that would be cruel. Hey, Dorn, that's a good question. Um, support, we haven't received the feedback. It, it may not be routed to us. Um, Izzy, have you heard anything back as far as... Uh, uh, responses from the trick-or-treat? No, I haven't because I've been on vacation for the past mm -hmm. five days, so I only just got back. Oh, welcome back. Thanks. Yeah, anything I've heard about it has been positive so far, so... And yes, Torek, of course. I'm going to say it because no one else, everyone's too polite. The elephant in the room, governance for... What's happening about governance meetings? Because we've noticed the wiki has gone completely blank. I believe, and governance can speak to this as well, I believe that they're retooling them right now. Um, that they weren't getting a lot of response or something. Uh, so they're trying to rework them into a better format. Right. They're looking for a better it. format. They, they I'm sure that if there's any there. questions or anything we can poke here too while the governance is here. I kind of guess that governors might be expecting a question, hence being here. I even see a couple of moles and strawberry in our audience right now. Hey, Strawberry. I see all. <laughs> yep, as governance force, I believe they're just, uh, you know, assisting where they can. Is there any new homes out? Besides the, the still, are you talking like new styles or new yes, kits? yes. Um, there aren't any new styles out yet beyond the fantasy homes, which just came out a couple of months ago. Right. But there and are any new. Oops, planned. sorry. Going to go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Uh, there are some new designs planned. Uh, there's nothing that we can share here. Um, I will say you're going to like them. Uh, <laughs> But um, yeah, you'll probably see something about it soon. Maybe you have my, some more easy. I don't know. My addition to that would be a great big ditto. 
Thank you. There you go. Now, I do know that also on the existing styles that they are still regularly releasing um, some of those because we know that a lot of them are really popular. So there's still some of those in the pipeline as well. If there's a particular style that you've wanted that isn't showing up very often, like, say, oh, houseboats, this kind of thing. And for proof of that one, I just went through a huge, probably 40 by 40 region area, having to nudge certain islands out of the way to make room for more uh, expansion of the Linden Home area. So they're constantly adding more Linden Home regions. That's good feedback, Sue. Thank you. Sue, I can definitely agree with that, or at least have variation where some are and some aren't, because some people might like the hill, but definitely a lot of people would rather have it uh, flat. That's pretty true, Lucia. I don't think we have a lot on it here. Um, but it might be worth going to them. I can go ahead and answer that one, Sue. Uh, the problem is it won't let you actually downgrade while you own land, and it'll only let you purchase land when you're in a full premium status, so it's more just of a uh, system issue where you can't actually get the land because the problem is some people accidentally downgrade, and therefore we're telling them, you know, hey, you can't because you still own that Linden home, um, or it would have to just claim it from you right on your uh, day that you actually finalized your downgrade. So this, the decision was made to have you go ahead and remove it beforehand. My suggestion that I always say to people, if you want to go ahead and have your Linden home or mainland up to the very end is make a note to yourself for the day before your uh, subscription is going to uh, renew and go ahead and abandon your land and select downgrade on that day before. Adam, um, regarding your uh, form thread, we'll go ahead and check to see if we can find any update. Um, I'm not sure, uh, but we're happy to uh, look into it. I'm not sure I'll have an answer by the time our meeting ends, but at least um, we can poke around and see what we can find. And if there's anything that is readily shareable, uh, we'll let you know. I know it's Halloween, but let's not vore anyone today. Unless they ask nicely.
Panther, yes, in, except for the ones that are vegetarian, of course. They're seeking grains. Be careful, Vixen Wendy. If it's coming from Adam, you know it's a trick. Of course. <laughs> Would we expect anything else? I would be disappointed if it wasn't. I plan on going to some unnamed region with nothing else in it, no possibility of anybody camming in or anything like that, and then checking it out. Yes, Boxy seems to be uh, had had quite a time this weekend. Uh, we might be seeing some changes to Boxy coming up soon. So, for Boxy's those just upset know, we didn't make a Halloween costume for him. Right. Yeah. For those that don't know, Boxy is uh, our automated uh, assistant that uh, we use during off hours and introductions for uh, the live chat uh, before we pick up. And yeah, they had some issues this last weekend. So we're trying to wrap those up and maybe we'll see some improvements to Boxy soon. Lucy, that would be a question you'd have to ask your fellow uh, uh, people here rather than us. Yeah, it's still operational, but we've noticed a few little issues here and there. So I guess speaking of issues, we can move on to the next topic we wanted to bring up. And that was a bug that um, if anyone noticed while using um, the newest public or default viewer, um, you were receiving errors when playing media, specifically anything um, QuickTime related. It might have been resulting in a uh, return message and failing. Uh, we have a blog post up here that we wanted to share. It's already very, uh, public, but go ahead and send it to you guys. And both Windows and Macintosh systems have been rolling out big upgrades before the holiday season takes off. And while we haven't found any big showstoppers with Windows 11, there have been some installation issues on the Macs. Um, so if you're seeing any issues with the uh, Mac uh, operating systems, go ahead and try downloading our uh, viewer here. I'll go ahead and send it to you guys. And if you experience an error, let us know. Uh, contact support through your dashboard. Let us know uh, the viewer version that you used and uh, what was happening um, right before the error triggered. And um, we can go ahead and address it. Torque, was uh, that on a third party viewer or is that on the uh, SL viewer? Uh, on Singularity, but everything I was wearing went into Lost and Found, and I was still wearing it in Lost and Found, but I had to drag it back to where it should be, or it would damage the links. I've had it once yeah. before, but only once yeah, before, it's... I just wondered whether you knew about it. Yeah, we we see that very, very, very rarely. It does seem to happen on the third-party viewers. Uh, it may have to do with the way that they get inventory, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of an old one, so... That's one to watch for. But uh, it wasn't anything specific this weekend, but it is something that does come up very rarely. Okay, so he wants in blue moon anyway. I just thought I'd ask. Yeah, as I, as I said to a colleague over a different issue today, it's an extremely rare issue. That's why we only have to discuss it a couple of times a month.
Yeah, I, I also agree there uh, about uh, about the iPhone and iPad, about having it there. Um, and I hope you upgraded to 15.1 as well, because that just came out. Not yet, Christy. I was referring to make sure to upgrade your your iPad, but uh, I know there's, 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 I mean, I think that's ties into some of the mobile stuff that was already discussed, so, but fingers crossed. Any other questions, comments? I know there's no new news on that yet, Adam. It's still on, on pause. Um, we'll see what happens with that. What, Malarthy, you don't like uh, avatars with no lower halves to their bodies? No, Malarthy, you need to sit in a seat the entire time you're in a virtual world. Pepe, I know that there are, we talked about a little bit earlier, uh, there will be some more updates for Linden Holmes. Uh, there will be a new uh, style coming up before too much longer. I obviously don't have a, a date or anything, but, and plenty of the old ones are still coming in. Uh, I don't know if there's any new experience going to be tied to that. That's out of my knowledge. Oh, Pepe mentioned Linden Realms. Oh, Linden Realms. I'm sorry. Yeah, which I'm not sure of. Maybe is he? Heard of anything new for Linden Realms? Uh, nothing specific that I've heard uh, before I just got back, um, mm. but I know that they've been doing so much work on all the new homes things, so that's probably yeah. pushed other things back in development uh, possibilities. However, you all know Patch. He's always looking at things and going, that's too stale, it needs a revamp, so I don't think that it might, would be unfathomable to think that it's at least in a development stage. And whether that was a trick or a treat, that's up to the individual. <laughs>
I would also add that if you ever see a problem with any of the, uh, like Linden Realms or the Cornfield game or any of the others, something isn't delivering right or not working as you expected, um, go ahead and file a support ticket on that and uh, we'll get it over to land um, to see that that's taken care of. Some cases it might just need a reset um, so we can get those taken care of pretty quickly for you. Yeah, we always mention it, but um, if you're not already, go ahead and follow our featured news page because we're constantly putting out updates uh, about Second Life inside and out. Um, definitely uh, in the top right corner, uh, you can click follow, and it will give you options on how you would like to receive your news. Uh, so it's our one-stop place for, for everything uh, new in Second Life. It goes there as well as the uh, status grid for, you know, issues that come across, like, uh, as we mentioned, the um, uh, Apple notarization viewer errors. But then we might have a reason to actually like do things with our inventory and it's scary in there. Talk about Halloween. That is correct. The four that are up front uh, by the uh, name near the concierge bear, below the concierge bear, are the, uh, the, the previews of the ones that are being given as gifts in the trigger treat hunt. Of course, you're welcome. And Mel, I'm actually not sure that we have a, uh, I don't know the specific time that it ends. It probably ends on, on midnight, but that's a guess. Well, heck, I want that, Izzy. Well, you know what to do. Say trick or treat. <laughs> Don't give me the option. Hey, Torque. Yes, yes, that would be a, a feature request. What fix said? I even made a mini version of the land team bear for Derek to have.
Any other questions this week? Comments? Scary stories? Something? Yeah, I really think that Belisaria was, I mean, I think it was a bigger Thank hit you, than Abby. any of us expected. And Kenny, I agree, an edit button would be good there. I know that uh, we've been looking at some changes for profiles, and maybe there will be some changes to that too. We'll see. And indeed, Panther, we need the uh, upload consciousness button. I'd only worry about the the uh, roll days. Take care, Dion. Malarthy, as a friend of mine used to say, sleep is for wimps. Well-rested, well-adjusted wimps. And now that I'm back out of I am hell, I did it to myself. Oh, is it mean it's my time to mention, hey, if you want a windy bear, just I am me? <laughs> Yeah, but Wendy, don't you also have that uber secret pair that you can only give out if someone specifically asks you for it and they have to IM you exactly the name? <laughs> no, but if you hum a few bars. <laughs> Just waiting for somebody to blog on a Second Life conspiracy channel. Make sure to IM random things to Wendy and you might get the super secret bear. Maybe Strawberry will talk about it at her next lab gab. Oh, very tempting, Kenny. Oh, I've got a Christmas bear, but he's so basic. I think I made him back in 2008. There you go, Alma, although I'll warn you, it is a very basic pair. Although it does come with a Christmas tree. I agree, Saz. I do seem to recall actually seeing you when I was out and about uh, working on stuff. Yeah, always feel free to say hi if you see me in the area. Um, I'll probably be busy, but if I'm not or if I can take a moment, I will.
Adam, stop trying to start a land concierge meeting snowball fight. Yes, we'd hate to see that happen. Um, and also to answer the question, yes, there will be a meeting on December 22nd. Uh, there is, however, not a meeting next month, uh, November 24th. Uh, it happens to be right in the middle of Thanksgiving. So we don't want to be turkeys. Yeah, I think we're all fans of snowball fights around here. We do have, um, maybe both, Daphne. Uh, we do have uh, that coming up, I'm sure, in December, um, where you can uh, look for Izzy. Izzy's the one to, to target with your snowballs. And what's my uh, favorite part of the snowball fight, Wendy? I think, I think you can tell everyone. Uh, there's the one tower that people spend a good five or ten minutes climbing to the very top, and then, yes, turning it phantom when everybody's up there. Nice. Well, Adam, the problem is I'll get people telling me, I'm at the top of the tower. And it's like, you, you really? You're going to direct I am me? You're begging me to turn it phantom. I just try to make sure I have the best snowball gun I can get my hands on. Kenny, we can't cheat any more than anybody else. Well, I guess you could go into God mode, but then there's no fun. I think, Wendy, I'm going to see if somebody can take that bus gun, the one that makes the bus, you know, run you over and turn it into a rolling snowball. Now there's a thought. Got about uh, 15 minutes left. Um, any other questions or things everyone wants to bring up, please feel free. Hey Daphne, um, like I'll um, talk from my experience and those from other residents, but um, 
both the graphics card and the combination of what's in the, uh, the workstation along with the network would all contribute to um, a higher performer, higher performing viewer. So while you can have you know top of the line graphics card, if for example your internet connection is not up to par or there's a lot of congestion in your network, um, you won't necessarily see the benefits of having a top end card. Um, that being said, if you made sure every piece of the uh, puzzle is good, uh, your network's strong, your let's say you're hardwired versus on a wireless. Um, then you might uh, really enjoy like all the uh, the high specs of uh, Second Life, putting everything on max settings. But a graphics card is definitely a big piece of it. But there's other pieces that can either help or hurt it. Really, Adam, you have a bizarre question? Is anyone dressing up for uh, trick or treat in real life? I'm always curious to what people wear outside of Second Life. <laughs> I, of course, will be Michael Myers yet again. I might have a uh, Spider Gwen outfit going on. No costume this year, Vix? <laughs> ba -dum -bum. Ba -bum -bum. Uh, famously, but we still know where you live. <laughs> we can indeed just show up, Torque. <laughs> I heard otherwise. Well, I have indeed gone to events without an invite. Well, if you're free on Saturday at midday, we do more of the worlds. Come in steampunk and prepare to get vaporized. You're all welcome. I never go around in steampunk attire. I was just going to say, but Wendy, do you have anything steampunk? Did you have an Audible account? I do not. Oh, you need to get one. I shall send you some names of some books.
Torek, will you have done the voiceovers for them? Um, no. Why? Darn, because yeah. I would definitely get those. That's, that's the nicest thing anyone said to me all day, Izzy. Thank you. My pleasure. You deserve it. Izzy, I think Tempest's question is going to be in your wheelhouse. Or at least you might be able to get that to the malls. Yeah, Tempest, definitely submit a ticket if that uh, does happen to you. Um, I, but I would definitely submit it like um, how often it's happening uh, when with a picture of it going the wrong way. Uh, because if you're having to de-res and reload it regularly, that's different than just it broke and we want us to fix it. So I would definitely want to know about that. You don't have to be exact like it happened at 4.02 p.m. and then again at, you know, 8 a.m. the next morning, etc. But, you know, it's happening two or three times a week or once a week for the past two weeks or just some general idea of how often it's being fixed um, and then going back and breaking again. Yeah, don't worry too much about posting about other people specifically, although, I mean, saying that you know of several others in your region or in other regions that it's happening to is fine, um, but for specific people, they've got to submit their own. We can't just go over and uh, um, fix theirs because you told us it's happening to them too, um, but definitely the inclination that it's happening um, to other people will definitely get them to look at it on a broader scope. And yes, I know how much of a problem it is when you have to re or de res and re res the house because then it's like starting from scratch. So I get that. And I apologize for the trouble that you're having there. One other thing on that, Tempest, I was just realizing, um, what's the region name that your region is in, the Linden home? Okay, I just wanted to check because it, I wanted to see how long it had been since the region had been restarted, but it was only restarted yesterday, or day before yesterday, so that's not bad. See, I knew that's why I recognized your name, Pixel. I actually uh, have a, I escalated your ticket to uh, the malls earlier today so that they can take a look at that. Yeah, I sent that, I sent that over to him this morning. Uh, you should see an escalation uh, 
notice on your on your ticket in your support history. Test as in traffic tort. Halloween busier than Christmas. I just thought with uh, you'll have a lot of concurrence on, so you'd. Uh, oh, you'd, you'd I think we've been pretty have... prepared for it. You know, uh, leading up to it, um, I don't anticipate any major changes other than that viewer update that we already have on the status blog. Um, yeah, I don't think. Uh, I think um, yeah, the the system is ready for uh, any uh, any high concurrency, any any good traffic. So if you've got 60 or 70,000 Ruths on Sunday, we'll know what's happened. <laughs> but isn't that and the was... perfect costume for Second Life? I still use it. When everything else goes wrong, I drop that on myself. It gives everybody a bit of a, a smile. Right. I totally wanted to make a zombie Ruth. Yeah, I actually really like Lucia's. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> the pandemic gave... Uh... Second Life, a, a workload, <laughs> so we are we are prepared. That would be Torque Rotus. Um, pick. I was going to answer uh, instead of Vix and say, "What well, really depends upon the accent that you mean?" <laughs> yeah, you have a point there, Torque. True. Although I don't really do. I have an accent. I don't think so. According to somebody that you think has an accent, you have an accent, Vix. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah, pure Californian. <laughs> Nothing else. Oh, hey, it looks like it's, uh, we've got about two minutes left. Any last-minute comments before we uh, have to head out? Yes, yes happy hope Halloween. Everyone, hope everyone has so a great good. holiday. <laughs> Sorry, Whitney. Yes. No, go ahead. Be safe, enjoy the events, and um, you go trick-or-treating, uh, have fun. And let's all go to meet in the cornfield and wait for the Great Pumpkin. Indeed. Bring on the candy. Take care, all. Teleport home safe. Yes, Tork. Is it November? November or December? December? December, because the November one's during Thanksgiving. Yeah, you are Thanksgiving. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, chap. See you next time. Take care. Bye, Tork. Bye, everyone. <laughs>